YouTube, what's going on? It's your guy, Catpool Collects, and I uh, thought a little different video for you today. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Citadel paints and uh, how I kind of use them for doing custom figures and kind of enjoying Mythic Legions to the next level and how you can use uh, these paint brushes on different 112th scale figures and beyond depending on what you're collecting so uh come on in let's talk about some paints it's kent pool collects next <laughs> Welcome back, and uh, part of the fun I've been having almost two years now, crazy, uh, with Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, with our Figure Obscure, and even, uh, you know, Marvel Legends, it is so much fun to paint up, to work on some of these different 3D printed parts. There's so many awesome, awesome printers out there people sculpting these awesome designs and uh, really an opportunity to add to your figures or if you want just kind of adding to the color and the design of your characters at home so when we were at legions con 23 we got to see a ton of amazing custom figures parts all kinds of great stuff and uh, one of the things I thought I would, you know, share here on the old YouTube is uh, just my enjoyment of using Citadel paints. Um, tons of colors, tons of opportunities with me being in the Charlotte area. It's real easy to get access to stores that uh, carry the Citadel paints. Now I'm not saying these are the only paints and you know maybe they're not the best paints but for me I found uh, again easy to pick up. I think being able to uh, find a wide variety of colors you can see I got like all kinds of colors spread out across the area and uh, you just have different options, shades, layers, bases, kind of help build those characters as you are painting, customizing, having fun. Uh, even if you want to take like a body of a figure, maybe just hit a few spots to uh, add a little more paint. Mythic Legions kind of offering some of those deluxe builders. Those are a great figure to pick up. And uh, it's almost uh, Jeremy Gerard saying kind of paint by numbers or there's nice little spots on the figures where you can definitely uh, give them a little touch of paint. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think Citadel is a great option if you are looking to getting into painting and uh, hopefully having fun with it. On the other side, brushes. They have uh, quite a few different opportunities for brushes. So like this is a layer brush. This is a, is this is a base, yeah, a little base brush. So depending on what surface you are kind of working on, what kind of paint you're using. So this is like a synthetic layer. And you know, none of these, in my opinion, are too expensive. You can get cheaper brushes and have some good results. So some of it is, I think, just the confidence of knowing that you're picking up this brush and uh, kind of how it's going to work with the paint. 
And you can see here, so this is like one of my test pieces. I like to, uh, you know, using some different colors, seeing how it kind of hits on the piece. Does been, definitely does not hurt to have uh, something to kind of test, to work with. Here are some of our dwarfs that I painted up. A lot of fun with uh, these guys. There's one of those. And great example of kind of using different layers some different shades and whatnot to kind of bring the different colors and skin tone and whatnot together. You can see with the hair and everything going on there. So a lot of fun painting, trying. Uh, I would say the biggest thing with painting is uh, just kind of working at it and trying to you know, have fun and develop your own techniques. You are definitely not gonna get better at painting if you're not at least attempting to paint and working at it. Uh, one thing I try to do, I always feel like less is more, so I try to go the least amount because I feel like I can always add paint. So maybe a good little strategy. Uh, the other nice thing about our Citadel paints, uh, a lot of times you're going to find these at Games Workshop, sometimes some different gaming spots, and I have gotten to meet some really good artists, painters, and uh, they have some awesome skill sets, especially if you're at like a Games Workshop. Uh, they're used to working on even smaller uh, pieces, so some of their advice and kind of working with them, matching paint sometimes. So I know it's going to vary depending on what shop stores you get to, but another awesome way to uh, meet people, kind of share the hobby and uh, seeing what people are doing with paint. Those dwarfs I showed you. Those are actually like a paint scheme from an old YouTube Warhammer like tutorial video. So I took it and kind of upscaled it to our 112th scale, seven inch kind of mythic legions, uh, partially because with them using Citadel paints, it was easier to kind of match up using those paints and putting those techniques to work. And again, you're kind of going at a bigger size. So using the different brushes and stuff, it seemed very easy to kind of apply those techniques. But again, find a... Uh, you know, those paints that work for you, find those brushes that work for you. And uh, a great example, you saw some of the items we got from the Painted Up on the Cabal. Thank you again to Curtis and Jesse for kind of helping to put that together. Some of our awesome, awesome 3D print people, uh, awesome pieces that were part of that giveaway. And of course, Four Horsemen Studios, encouraging people to pick up those brushes, get those paints out, and uh, really working on these figures and uh, having a lot of fun with it. So the paints, the 3D pieces, even uh, your normal figures, there are a lot of opportunities to uh, kind of play around and uh, add your own touch and just another level of the hobby. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Uh, I didn't really go into super detail, but I just think Citadel Paint is a uh, great way to kind of work on some of these figures, add some different uh, 
elements to your basic figures, or if you want to do full painted customs, it's a, it's a cool opportunity to kind of work with some familiar paints and brushes and uh, kind of come up with your figure story. Uh, the other thing, recently on a video, I did some dry brushing, which is a real easy technique to add some paint, some color. Let me grab this guy real quick and uh, kind of showed him in the video, but a uh, little bit of dry brushing and there's our red piece in the center after we did like a base coat of black and uh, you can see you know real simple addition the original piece so this is the original little chest piece there so you can see i mean as far as color we didn't do anything too crazy but just by popping and putting in the new piece and adding a little paint, just a, you know, little character to our characters and uh, hopefully a lot of fun for you. But uh, let me know in the comments, are you painting figures? Are you interested in painting figures? What paints and brushes are you using? If you have uh, an awesome source of paints and brushes, that uh, you feel comfortable with and you think are great for Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, Figure Obscure, 112 scales, whether it's, uh, you know, Marvel Legends or if you're doing some paint on McFarlane. I know there are uh, tons and tons of customizer out, customizers out there doing some awesome stuff. So hopefully you're jumping in. You are painting it up and uh taking this hobby to the next levels but i want to hear from you let me know what you're using are you finding this video and hey i want to give this a try again don't feel like you have to spend like hundreds of dollars there's uh different sets there's a lot of opportunities to get in to get painting and uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. Thank you for all your support. If you haven't already, jump into Ken Pool Collects. We're having a lot of fun here on the YouTube, also over on Instagram, Kent Pool Collects. Uh, if y'all wanna see me do more painting, I'm not gonna lie, your guy is a little bit of a shy painter. Uh, I like podcast, maybe some kind of like YouTube episode playing in the background. I am not like the best, like, let's paint a little tree here <laughs> and kind of walking you through it. But uh, if you all want to see more, my um, goal with the channel has been really growing and learning kind of Mythic Legions and you know, customizing and doing paint. So I hope y'all are kind of growing, learning with me. Again, you're not going to do this stuff perfect every time, but if you keep working at it, I think you are going to enjoy what you're doing and uh, have some cool stuff on the shelf that, uh, you know, maybe special to you and awesome when you see other people taking a look at it and kind of popping for it. Thank you to our channel members. Y'all are awesome supporting the channel. Really, really appreciate it. Huge win for my Wolverines yesterday. So had to support the boys in blue. Those kids, uh, they played their hearts out yesterday. And until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting. But when you can't get out hunting, definitely make sure you're having fun collecting.